I certainly had no idea that I'd become a professional rugby player. I think at the time I wasn't sure enough whether I'd be good at it or not. Um, but again, the wise words from one of my mentors, Graham Bond, said, be rude not to give it a crack because you don't want to get to later on in life and, and regret you know, not taking up the opportunity. So that's probably one thing that I've learned over, over my career is that you know, any opportunity that's given to you, you know, you've got to give it a go. I think you're reminded every day that this requires hard work. You know, being a professional rugby player, wanting to become a champion, um, wanting to win the competition. You know, off the back of knowing that we're the defending champions and we can be the first Australian Super Rugby team to, to do it twice in a row, uh, there's a lot of motivation and there's a lot of excitement around that. And I guess the belief that we gained last year as a squad and individuals, the buzz and the atmosphere around the Waratahs club at the moment is really exciting and in a way we've set a standard so it certainly doesn't make our job any of that easier. You know on weekends when we're playing uh, against other opposition we're going to play at our best because we know that the other opposition is going to have to play at their best to beat us. I think it's important for any player in any squad to have a high level of self-belief and a level of confidence, not arrogance, but confidence to really believe in themselves and I think that has a certain influence on the guys around them and then when you've got that that confidence amongst the group. It just really buys into the culture, works on the cohesion and the camaraderie of the group and enables you to go out and perform at your best. I think confidence in a team environment leads to trust and you can't perform at your best if you don't have that confidence. When you are believing in what you're doing, you're more decisive, uh, you're more assertive. Again, it has an impact on the group around you. They have trust in what you're doing and then they're able to do their job at their best. It's about the 80 minutes on the weekends, it's about you know, going the distance and you know, we're certainly reminded day in day out here by the coaching staff that you know, games are won in that last couple of metres of a drill or that last minute of an exercise or that last rep here in the gym. It's about doing that one extra, going that yard extra and it certainly has a, a huge, huge transfer onto the field. Once your goal and your ambitions are clear, it gives the team purpose and we're certainly all on board, buying into the culture, contributing, working hard to give ourselves purpose, give the club purpose um, and reach that end goal. Culture, I guess, is probably just to respect a contribution of, of all players, um, respecting each other's backgrounds, each other's contribution and effort on a daily basis. Without culture, it's very hard to reach success for a team. I mean, you could have the most talented bunch of players in, in a team and still not succeed without culture. Culture is, I guess, the, the glue to, to any winning formula. It, um, it, it kind of binds everyone together and allows teams to enjoy their hard work and enjoy their success. I want to go out a winner. You know, this is my last year, so this is my last opportunity to contribute to the Waratahs, contribute to the Australian Rugby Union, and I'd hate to go out knowing that I didn't give it everything. So this probably is more important than any other for me. Regardless of the distractions that rugby has, uh, I think it's important just to remain focused on, on what you're doing. And for us, it's working hard, um, contributing to a culture that we know that will get us over the line in the end to win us a, a, another Super 15 trophy.